This is one of the most anticipated Ultra Robot vacuums of 2023. It is the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra, and it has some big shoes to fill from its predecessor, the S7 Max V Ultra, which is often considered to be the very best Ultra Robot vacuum on the market. My name is Jamie Andrews, and today we are going to take a close look and test the changes made to the S8 Pro Ultra. Put it through my endurance test and give you some things I like and a few things I do not. In many ways, the S8 Pro Ultra is based on the older S7 Max V, with a few major design changes aimed to improve on the older series. The S8 Pro so far is the top robot out of the S8 series, which includes the S8 and the S8 Plus, and can be purchased in either white or black for a retail price of $1,600. On the bottom, we have six cliff sensors to keep the robot from tumbling down your stairs, a dedicated carpet detection sensor, and cutouts from where the bottom charging contacts would be found for the S8 Plus model, so they likely share this bottom plate. The new side spinning brush drops the all rubber design and goes back to using bristles. One of the biggest changes is due to iRobot's patent expiring, allowing Roborock to use the dual roller brush design, which in theory should improve carpet pickup, especially for people with pets. The rollers are similar in design to the single roller on the S7 series, with removable ends that differ enough to not make them compatible with the older S7 models. In addition to the dual rollers, the entire roller deck lifts up when performing a mopping and when traveling back to the dock. The next biggest change to the S8 Pro is with the introduction of Viberize 2.0. Gone is the ability to remove the mopping plate itself, meaning you will need to flip the robot to detach the mopping pad. This system now gets an additional plate that vibrates, which according to Roborock, will improve the mopping ability. The rise part of Viberize refers to the lifting mopping plate, which lifts five millimeters to clear low pile carpet and is unchanged. The mopping pad is unique in design for the dual mopping plates, so you'll need to order pads that are specific for the S8 Pro. Around front is a new reactive 3D object avoidance system, which includes a black and white IR camera, yes, it does have a camera, with a series of lasers to help navigate around certain obstacles in your home. The IR camera replaces the need for the LED fill light found in the older S7 Max V. However, one downside is remote viewing the camera's live feed with audio is no longer an option. And although an IR camera can properly identify and tag objects, it no longer takes photos of the objects for you to see in the app. The only charging contacts are on the front, which means it can only take a charge from the Ultra Dock. Around back, things change quite a bit. The 200 milliliter water tank is no longer removable, but it is still filled when docking through the single port in the back. On top, things are business as usual with a power, home, and spot cleaning button. The LiDAR sensor cover is protected, and sadly gone is the cool multifunction LED light of the S7 series. Looking under the lid, we have a QR code to get your app set up and a Wi-Fi reset and indicator light. The dustbin is similar to the S7 series in design, but it is a bit smaller in capacity, likely due to the increased size of the dual roller brushes. Let's look at the self-washing, self-emptying, self-refilling, and now standard self-drying Ultra Dock which receives some welcome aesthetic changes, making it more appealing to the masses. Along the base, you will see air outlets, which help dry the wet mopping pad. The suction port is now wider to accommodate the dual rollers. The pad cleaning system is identical to the old design and moves back and forth on a track, scrubbing the mopping pad with this little round roller brush. In the back are a set of charging contacts and a port to refill the robot's internal water tank. One welcome change is a redesigned water filter tray to keep debris out of the drain. This new mesh two-piece design should make cleaning this a bit easier. Up top, the 2.5 liter dust bag is unchanged and uses the same bags as its predecessor. 
The dock is a bit bigger than the predecessor due to the increased size of the water tanks. The clean water tank is 3.5 liters, which is up 0.5 liters, and the dirty water tank is 2.9 liters, an increase of 0.4 liters. Another welcome change is the redesign of the handles, which were just a bad design on the old dock. The final round of changes are in the app, which are pretty cool. I did a full walkthrough of the S7 Max V Ultra app, which I will link below, so now I will just touch on the changes in this video. The first change I noticed was with the addition of a status bar in the very bottom that will give you a visual indication of the progress of the job. It might be a small change, but I now want this on all of my robots. Another change that I really like is buried in the settings menu under carpet detection labeled deep clean carpets. This allows the robot to sweep and mop your hard floors and then it vacuums the rugs and carpets twice. Roborock also added a fast room cleaning option that will skip the outside of the room and only clean the high traffic areas. Moving on to the endurance test with the first one being baked on hot sauce test where I bake hot sauce on my tile floors and send the robot out to clean it up with two passes. In all my tests, I always use room temperature water without any cleaning solution. The S8 Pro Ultra was set to intense scrub mode and deep cleaning plus mopping mode, which should give it the best advantage. It was able to clear nearly all of the hot sauce after two passes, which is great. Next is a tile pickup test where I scattered 130 grams of cat litter on the floor and sent the robot out for a single pass to pick up as much as possible. I did not notice any excessive scattering with the new side spinning brush and the S8 Pro was able to pick up 120 grams of the cat litter in max plus vacuum mode. It's a good result. I suspect the dual rollers should do their best on carpet so on to my rice challenge where I scatter 34 grams of rice on medium pile carpet which again was tested in max plus mode. The dual rollers shined in this test picking up 53 grams or 98% of the rice which ties the previous champion the Ecovax X1 Omni. The obstacle avoidance system appears to mostly be changed so I'm going to put it through my standard obstacle avoidance test. This system relies on a series of lasers and an IR camera and did fairly well except with cords and fake animal waste, with the latter being the most concerning. I ran several tests on and off carpet and even when the robot did detect the fake animal waste, it got too close, oftentimes bumping into it. Next up, I ran a few tests on the dock. The first one was to make sure it can completely empty out a full dustbin of hair and dirt, so I had it clean my entire house and ran an auto empty manually. During this process, the dock pulls 900 watts and 10.3 amps of power, which is identical to the old dock, and like the old dock, it was able to completely clean out the dustbin and clean the filter. The last test was with the new integrated dryer module. It pulled around 85 watts and 0.71 amps of power, which is about 50% more than the older dryer module and was able to dry 95% of the pad within two hours. The add-on dryer module for the older UltraDock took almost three hours for comparison. Let's dive into some pros and cons starting with the pros. There is no doubt this is a powerful full-featured robot vacuum system that has well-designed hardware and software and has top-notch deep cleaning ability with frequent firmware updates from a company that is always pushing the bar with new tech and features. This is a no-fuss option for someone who wants the most hands-off experience that money can buy. I like the idea of the lifting roller brushes, which means I am now more likely to vacuum my floors first and then send it out a second time to mop. The dual roller system should help people with carpets and long hair pets, and I'm glad to say that I did not have any hair wrapped around the rollers themselves. I am glad the dryer is now integrated into the dock, and I was pleased to see the improved drying performance. The larger water tanks will certainly help people with larger homes, and the redesigned dock filter, which is what should have been there to begin with. 
Lastly, the aesthetic redesign of the dock is spot on in my opinion. It looks much better than the old dock, especially in the white. What about those cons? Well, there are a few, with the first one being the changes to the robot itself, aside from the dual roller brush system, of course. The robot still does not have a lifting mopping plate high enough to clear any real carpets, and still only has one place it drops water on the mopping pad, which both have been frequent complaints of the old S7 series. I personally do not mind the integrated water tank, but I know some people will not like it and see it as a drawback. I feel the Reactive 3D is a step backwards from the Reactive AI system, and although they are improving the system through firmware, it has less features and functionality. The jury is out with the bristle side spinning brush. While it did not attract as much hair as the older style, it is too close to the wheel and is already deformed, so these may not last long. Other smaller gripes are that the internal dustbin is 50 milliliters smaller and gone is the cool moving multicolor LED light on the front lid. The S8 Pro Ultra retails for $200 more than the S7 Max V Ultra and the changes and updates should more than justify the price increase. However, I am left wanting some different improvements without sacrifices. Give us a robot with the old reactive AI system, a higher lifting detachable mopping plate, and a detergent injection system like found on the Dreamy L10S Ultra, and you will have a true Ultra robot that makes little to no sacrifices all while making the competition take notice. Don't get me wrong, the S8 Pro Ultra is a solid choice for those looking for the latest and very greatest Ultra robot vacuum. Its performance is still class leading, and the new app features are smart additions to an, the absolute best smart robot app that you can use. The changes to the dock are small, but good enough to make a great dock even better without any sacrifices. For those who are looking to upgrade from an S6 or S7, you might be here asking if the changes are enough to justify this over the cheaper S7 Max V Ultra. Well, I'm already working on a head-to-head -head video, which I will have out very soon to help people answer that very question. And spoiler alert, you are not going to want to miss this one. It takes many hours to shoot, test, produce, edit, and upload videos on YouTube, and most viewers are currently not subscribed. If this video helped you, please take a moment to show your support for this channel and hit the subscribe and like button. If you have a question or comment, please drop that down below. And if you'd like to see a specific test against the S7 Max V Ultra, go ahead and comment that down below right now. I want to thank you for watching this video and take it easy, everyone. Bye-bye.